Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. Hopefully you guys can find me here. Hi guys, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Ugh, I put my phone on Do Not Disturb now, but... I'm gonna try to get you guys back. I'll wait a few minutes. <laughs> sorry, there's only two people. I'm so, I'm gonna wait. Oh, here you guys go, here you go. Sorry, I am so sorry. Oh my God. Well, I hope that other one cut off before you guys heard me cursing. <laughs> I sure hope the other one ended before you heard any bad words. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. I'm so sorry. I have it on, um, I now have it on set to uh, not bother me. My husband knows better though. He knows I'm usually making videos or doing something else right now. Do not call right now, but of course. I'm gonna blame him, all right? Oh, okay, ended no bad words. Okay, thank you, because I might... <laughs> you guys are gonna be like, oh, I thought she was such a sweet girl. <laughs> I am married to a Marine. I don't, I don't know, you guys. I do say words. I just don't say them in my videos. Um, oh, gosh. Hopefully this... I'm going to put in the other chat, and I'm going to pin it. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to pin on the other one. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm going to pin this one. Oh. Unpin message on the other one. And I'm going to pin this message. I'm so sorry. So anyway, so we're making basically what is a flow book, you know, so that when you put these all together from your four different swap partners, it's going to look cute. And you can go in and draw things out of, you know, if you just need a little something for a project or whatever. And I think it's cute. Um, so basically, that's what I was talking about, that it's a flow book. Okay, so I am ending the other one. My phone completely froze. Like, it would not even let me get off of the site. So that was super weird. <laughs> now, this video, of course, has no links or anything because I'm just starting it up and I didn't have time to set things up. Oh, I'll tell Matt we said hello. Don't worry about that. <laughs> oh, he will hear about it. I already texted him. I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe you called me right now. Uh, you froze my video. All right, guys. Uh, sorry. So let's get back to it. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. We lost half our audience. Hopefully you guys will come back in a minute. Oh, also, what am I doing? I need to start up the chat again on my daughter's iPad. Sorry, guys. And I'm so sorry, Sue, but we're almost, uh, there. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Uh, let me get in here. I just realized I didn't send that off. No, I don't want that. I don't want this. Let's start over. My goodness. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Of course, now I can't find my own live. Um, so yeah, it'll be fun. Thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. This is why I get nervous. And I'm so, I honestly, as soon as I got on and I clicked go live, I was like, I didn't do do not disturb. Like it was like the first thing that popped in my head. Oh my gosh. No, I'm sorry guys. Thank you. Thanks for finding me again. Honestly, I can't even find me on my own page here. What's going on? This is weird. Uh, let's go there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, I'm not even gonna tell you how my husband responded right now. <laughs> he feels bad, but he said a little bad word in there. <laughs> Bad words all around. <laughs> yes. uh, but like I said, what are you going to expect? Okay. So sorry, you guys. You can hear me and all that. Thanks for a potty break. Yeah, there you go. That's what, yeah. All right. We're back at it. <laughs> uh, he might be watching now. I don't know. What time is it? Uh, it's almost 10 here. That means it's almost 6 o'clock in the evening over there. Uh, I know, I know. <laughs> I know he feels bad already. Okay, that's all. I was <laughs> just like, and you messed it up. <laughs> Poor guy. All right, all right. Well, we'll get started. I know we lost about half the people. I'm sorry. Hopefully, they'll find us. Because even right now, when I got on my daughter's iPad, it wasn't showing that I'm live. I had to go to my page and then look at all my videos, and then it showed. So I'm sorry. And I pinned it on the other one. So hopefully, somebody will see it. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Okay, so crafty girl. So cute. Look at the little uh, clippy here. Love it. I'm going to have to rename all these things when we're done, too. So part one, 
part one uh, continued, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Oh, that's so funny, you guys. Awesome. Yay, okay. Hi, Kimberly. <laughs> Good. You guys are so funny. <laughs> Barbara says, we'll find you. Okay. Thank you, Irma. Thank you, guys. Look how cute these little uh, paper clips are. Cute little die cuts. We have some stickers. Um, lots of fun things. I love this kind of thing. You guys know I have a ton of um, cheesecloth that I bought, you know, to do like Halloween things with probably over a decade ago. And it's a big old box. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I need to use it for stuff like this cute little um, clippies. Oh, that's so cute. She put the little brads on here so like it's decorated, but you can t pop them off and use them, you know. Really sweet. We'll continue on. Sue has one more and then we'll move on here. Thank you guys. Thanks for looking for me. I'm so sorry. That was really weird though because my phone, that's happened before where something interrupts, but I can always get right back in the, the, um, the video, you know, like it just continues like nothing. So that was weird. <laughs> oh, you know what? Why it was weird? It's probably because he called through FaceTime, and that also wants to take your camera. You know what I'm saying? Something weird is that something's weird about that because I've had people call like for phone calls, and it just goes back or like send a text message. So anyway, we are gaining numbers, are we? Okay, good. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> sorry guys. And then, oh, look how pretty. Let your life be your art. Love the little sprinkle, like, uh, sparkle shimmer on here. I dream in glitter. <laughs> Again, lots of fun, sweet um, die cuts, tags. I mean, just beautiful organza ribbon, some little decorated ribbon there. Oh, look at these little feathers. That is adorable. Oh, my gosh. Or wings, I guess, really. Again, some paper clippies. I'll put those carefully so they don't get... Let me, let me redo that. Okay, let me put that back here. And then some uh, words and tags and, you know, just uh, beautiful papers. Really, really gorgeous. Thank you so much, Sue. And hopefully Sue's back too. <laughs> yeah, there she is. A B. Yes, it is. She's... Now I'm embarrassed of mine. You guys are so... <laughs> they... Don't worry about the tissue. It's a nice added touch. It's not required. Thank you, guys. So pretty. And then I guess tissue is an extra thing because some of people like to put tissue in their little projects, right? So that's really fun. Okay, um, this one's from Alice Langenecker in Wisconsin, WI? Wisconsin, right? <laughs> yes, a flow book. That's pretty much what we're trying to achieve here, I guess, suppose. So Alice, um, again, with her postage there and then her uh, swap. So let's check this out. Yeah, so that's what we're trying to do is just put together like a little flow book, basically. And then, you know, you can add more to it, whatever it is that you want to do. But um, I think it's fun. Ooh, a little washi on the front there. A cute little um, shaped hidden paper clip. I love the way the paper, the way she put this, to separate the two different um, pieces. It's the same paper. Just a nice little accent. That's for her swap partner. She has a little sheet of stickers in here. Beautiful die cuts. Oh my gosh, it's so delicate. I don't want to mess it up. A little reindeer. <laughs> He's so cute. Little pieces of like ephemera. Look at this. So pretty. It feels really nice, too. I love it. The little characters. You know, I noticed in the Tim Holtz, I, I think these are like Tim Holtzy ones. Um, he has all kinds of variety of people. I love that. Like with a vintage look, but with different people. So I was like, that's really good. I actually noticed that the other day. So I'm going to buy some of his. Um, I think that's really great. Little, um, like a card. Really sweet. Look at this. Oh, I love this glassine um, bag. Really pretty. And then a nice die cut back there. So sweet, Alice. Thank you. Ah, okay. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> I know my people can't help but to see my craft room because it's like right here off the kitchen. So you're going to take a peek <laughs> if you're in this house at all, really. And tucked away in a weird like little nook from my uh, living room. Is Alice here? I don't know. What was required, Catherine? If you want to go back and check out the video, basically for this one, it was really easy. It's just four folders. They have to be five by seven um, with uh, hidden hidden altered paper clips. Not just an altered paper clip, but like a hidden altered paper clip. And then 15 pieces of ephemera, whatever you think ephemera is. <laughs> right? So, oh, hi, Alice. Yes, there she is. Super cute. Thank you. 
Got a little guy here. We have, again, just a beautiful die cut. I don't want to mess it up. Really fun um, ephemera pieces that she popped in here. Like, this is like an embossed card. That feels really lovely. Some stickers there. Again, some other, like, printed ephemera pieces that have a really nice feel to them. Other little characters, little people. <laughs> Love that. Um, again, uh, a sweet card and that glassine folder and some die cuts. Really pretty. Thank you, Alice. I know next time I do a swap, I need to let you guys know when you sign up to give me your real name. Because I know some people, <laughs> one of my gals, she said, oh, I saw it said Wilma. And I'm actually this and this because <laughs> the email just said Wilma, like in the um, email name. Or like some people have like a creative name or, you know, I think Alice goes by like alligator. So that's how I find it. But I remember that now because she's done swaps with me several times. So I'm familiar. But we need to do that. <laughs> Again, cute little hidden altered paper clip. Love the papers. Really sweet. Um, this one has uh, rub-ons in there. Again, beautiful die cuts, little uh, pieces that are different types and styles. I see something. Follow. Look how cute. I love the way she cut the shape on that. Beautiful little printouts or printables. It's just lovely. Again, those beautiful little kind of antique cards. I love that. Or vintage. And then the little glassine. This is, I love it. I love glassine envelopes or bags. Feel really nice. Thanks for coming back, guys. Thanks for finding us. We only lost a handful. <laughs> sorry, guys. So sorry. I will remember next time to put it on Do Not Disturb. That was a rookie move. I think I did that, you know, like the first time I did a live. And then ever since then, I remembered to do to put it on Do Not Disturb. Oh, well. Sorry. Well, that was my bad. And then just beautiful papers, like the way they coordinate so nice. Oh, and this one, she did the folder a little bit different. I do like the side folder. I like both of them. I like both styles. Um, I think more convention conventional is the one with the pocket at the bottom, but this is very cute. I love it. <laughs> so we have the little um, stickers and all these sweet things. Again, that beautiful holographic paper with that die. I love the little reindeer. He's such a sweetie. Oh, how beautiful are these? And then the fussy cutting. Thank you, Alice. <laughs> I know it takes time. Uh, those three sisters or these friends, something like that, with friendship and friends. Again, sweet little card, die cut pieces, ephemera. Really lovely. Thank you so much, Allison. Thanks for joining us again. <laughs> yeah, Marilyn says she doesn't have any. I don't have any of them either. Now that I saw a better look at them, I'm like, okay, you know what? I really like those. So I'm hopefully get some of those soon. This is from Marilyn Bordeaux from Pennsylvania. And she has a little note there. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Marilyn. That's so sweet. And of course, I can use this too. Look how pretty that is. Like, where do you get things like this? Like, this is <laughs> beautiful. I love it. And then her paper that coordinates right back to that. Love it. Oh my gosh. What a presentation. Look at that. Just so pretty. And then with a note card. Really pretty, Marilyn. All right. Look at this. I mean, it's just so gorgeous. It's, it's ready to go with all the little stuff that's like on the uh, paper. Super cute. Oh, I love this colorway. Very sweet and dear and just classic. Um, lots of tags. Doilies, of course, we love. Look at this. Little tags. Look at this one. <laughs> love it. Love the colorway on this. I'll put this one over here. And then this side has like some borders and some other fun things, little pockets, a little like file folder. And again, that beautiful paper note card, gorgeous. So pretty, Marilyn, thank you. Now look at this one, how sweet and soft and the beautiful die cutting. At least this time that I've logged back in, um, we're like in real time. Cause I can see what I'm saying and like looking at is probably one second behind what I'm doing. Earlier, it was a whole minute behind, so I don't know what was going on there. Um, very weird. Um, okay, so, um, oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, I love that so much. <laughs> Beautiful, I know I can't obsess over each little die cut, but wow, the little tags, the cute little like star sprays, again, little doilies and beautiful things here. Look at this little butterfly, the little keys. I love that so much. Tags, journaling spots, beautiful die cuts. 
beautiful paper. Just gorgeous. Oopsie, oopsie. Marilyn, it's so funny because I know she go, has a, another last name and I had written her other last name, which I knew it's usually Bordeaux. And then I have another Marilyn that also has two last names that usually goes by one. So I'm like, how is that? <laughs> How is that a thing? I know I have a lot of uh, Dianes. I have Dianes with two ends. I have Dianes with one end. I have several of them. I have several Lauras. I have several of a lot of names and it's very common and they're almost similar, which is so weird. I'm like, how, how does that happen? <laughs> so I have two Marilyns that go by one of their two last names. Uh, beautiful look at the polka dots. I love this. Let me open this up carefully. I don't want to mess up any of the hidden altered paper clips. Love the style here. Look at the little pockets she added in here. Um, and then she included the little die cut pockets, like the ones, um, looks like the one from Tonic, maybe? And then, um, borders, beautiful die cuts, little tags, super cute. Oh, love that. Love the color with the black. That black really just pops in. People had asked about that. They're like, what do you mean by sophisticated or like shabby chic? Like, what are you thinking? And I'm like, well, it's like muted colors. And sometimes people do like pops of black or like blue or like pink, like soft, those kind of colors purple you know really pretty but the black just sets things off so pretty and then there, uh, of course our hidden altered paper clip with a cute little tag design there and this, i love this little uh, star spray so cute little borders tags Ooh, i like the way she inked that one up it makes it almost look like chipboard that's so interesting just that little bit makes it really pop really cute lots of borders in this one and of course, there are my little bits and bobs. I'm just kind of showing a little bit of everything. Thank you so, so much, Marilyn. Did I say where this was coming from or did I just... Yeah, Pennsylvania. I said that. I remember saying that. Okay. So pretty. Thank you, Marilyn. And thanks for joining us. Once again. Oh, the Tim Holtz pockets. Okay, the little hole, like the way that was cut looked very similar, but then I thought, well, the shape doesn't look like the one I used last time, but yeah, thank you. Vianney is like Dieta. I know, you know, it's funny. I was thinking about that. I'm like, oh, when I say, you know, um, Amy's name or like um, Andrea's, I'm like, why can't I get it out? I know Vianney is like one of the most difficult names. <laughs> Coming from a person with a difficult name. I'm like, why can't I, you know, just say it. This is from Jackie Robinson out of Ohio. So she has a little, well, this is good. Kept it nice and safe there. Pretty and chic. I knew a Monabi, never heard of that. Oh, that's pretty. I do like that. Oh, see, I've been saying Dieta and she says Dieta and I have been saying it wrong this whole time. <laughs> All right. So this is from Jackie. Oh, oh, it's so cute. Thank you. I love the sweet colors on that. <laughs> My first hidden clips. Can I wait for next adventure? Oh, thank you, Jackie. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to open this up. And then I probably won't put it back in this because this isn't going to go anywhere. So I'm going to put it to the side for now just to make it easy. Just beautiful. Love the little um, foiling on this paper. Look at her little montage here. <laughs> so cute. And on the back, it just says happy with some little sequins. Adorable. <laughs> um, okay, so she has a little tag there for her swap partner, a little note. We have some tags. We have some um, fun papers. And this just a little goodie assortment of different die cuts and things. I hope you can see that. Beautiful little thread. I love that. The thread with like the different colors on it or um, like foil. So cute. So cute. Thank you. from Jackie. Oh, I love this. You can write whatever you like in there. Maybe stamp something if you would like. Again, nice soft muted colors. You have the forever on the back. The little uh, cameras on here. That is adorable. Oh, thank you guys for uh, helping out Catherine there. I, you know, I'm trying to keep up, but sometimes I miss things. Oh, I love this. So she added acetate to keep that in. And it's hard to see there. And so it looks really cool. We have the tags. Again, a little bag of die cuts it looks very similar so i'm probably going to go through hers kind of quickly but it has some different um threads in there really pretty oh i love the the way she framed that believe in there that's hard to do sometimes when you're trying to make something and you go to fold it and it's like it ends up being somewhere you didn't expect so that's really sweet i love that oh and this one's more a little bright like more sunny a little stenciling it looks like really cute look at this 
Faith, Hope, Charity with some sequins. Love this paper. Like, I've never seen this board. So cute. That paper liner, you know, whatever that might be. Again, the die cuts and then that little bag of very similar um, from the beginning, from the first one. Little hearts and threads and die cuts. So cute. This one's very artsy. Let me get this on here. Ah, okay. And this last one with the black stripes. Love it. The little flower pots on there. So cute. And on the back it has little uh, stones. Little jewels. Who was the one who made the tassel for the fall book? It had a witch. Who was the one who made a tassel for the fall book? It had a witch. You guys know what Shannon's speaking of? So pretty. And then again, the little... Um, packet there of the dies the die cuts so cute I love this paper I love how it's striped on the outside and then it has that beautiful pink on the inside thank you so much Jackie I hope you had fun sounds like she did thanks for coming back guys I think we have almost everyone <laughs> almost everyone's back thank you I'm so sorry my husband is so sorry <laughs> Or at least he will be. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what time is it? 10? Okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this is about right. I pulled, like I said, about 20 of them. It's 10 o'clock. I still have... Oh, maybe 10 more to go through. <laughs> we will see. Um, this is from Yolanda Sanchez. Um, all the way from Bryan, Texas. So Yolanda... Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. She says, thanks for coming up with such a creative swap or such creative swaps. Thank you. So we have this beautiful, um, kind of very soft burgundy color, I want to say, kind of muted with a beautiful kind of, um, damask hidden altered paper clip and just packed with all kinds of fun things here. These look like maybe stickers. They're like vellum stickers, die cut pieces or ephemera die cuts tags, journal spots, all kinds of beautiful things in here. I know there's something down there I don't want to poke at because it's so cute, but oh, there's like a little envelope. Oh, this is so cute. It's like a little altar or inlaid envelope so you can put together. Um, and then some beautiful rose die cuts here. Love that. Did I say where it's coming? Yeah, I said Texas, right? Okay. <laughs> I said Texas, right? Beautiful flowers on this one. We have a hidden altered paper clip. Ooh, this one has all kinds of sparkly goodness. This feels a little bit thicker. Almost chipboard, but not quite. Um, little tags. I mean, I hope you can kind of peek in there as I'm not pulling everything out, but you can take a look there. She has some ribbon over here, some glittery um, die cuts, and then nice little ephemera pieces tucked in here and there. Oh, so sweet. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I love the soft blue on this and the way she folded it here. I don't know if you noticed on the other one, she uh, corner rounded and did some things like that. So really pretty little butterfly paper. And this one again, coordinates kind of back to what's going on here as the other one did too, with the blue and the yellows and gold die cuts. We have some vellum stickers, tags, more die cuts in here, a little ribbon. So sweet. I love the way she did them each kind of their own theme. And this one here, again, very muted colors with the script. Love that. That's really cute paper. And it has like, oh, that's a little decoration. I was saying it looks like a little moon. <coughs> Excuse me. And this one, again, very sweet muted colors and tags and vellum pieces and die cuts over here. Lots of die cuts. Oh, so sweet. Little, um, Again, key die cut, and then like uh, what well, looks like a rosette, or you can kind of add it up. And little um, organza ribbon, a really soft pink. Very pretty. Thank you so much, Yolanda. Let's see. I want to put it right back in the right box. I don't think I messed up a swap yet, so that that's good. It is. No, you're right. Marilyn says interesting variety, like the huge variety of papers. I know everyone has like all these different papers. The blue folder, yeah, it was exceptional. So pretty. Uh, this is from June Sefchik. I want to say Sefchik. Did I pronounce that correctly? And out of Florida. 
All right, you can kind of put it in a little baggie. I'm gonna get rid of the bag. We're gonna ditch the bag for now. And let's see what this says. Viene, I put one of these in each folder. Oh, okay, cool. So June put a little, a little information about herself in each folder. Very pretty, I love this colorway here. And I think June is her first time with us. I don't know if June's here or not, but. I'm sorry I skipped some things and I see, Catherine, I hope you're doing better. Catherine, nice to meet you. Oh, that's so, oh, you guys are so sweet. I'm telling you, the best group here. <laughs> uh, all right, Catherine, continued healing for you. Um, look at this hidden altar paper clip, just gorgeous on that beautiful paper there. And um, some twine. We have this beautiful ribbon here, little die cuts. Oh, that's so cool. So it's the die cut of the word hello, but you can pop it out or you can keep it, you know, use it different ways. Um, the little uh, extra from when you cut out confetti. I love these. These actually make fun stencils. So I'm glad that's there. A uh, little butterfly, little different pieces. Oh, look at this. There's some transparency pieces, some vellum, and some die cuts over here, some thicker chipboard piece. Really fun. I hope you guys um, really have fun with this when it comes in because then you can put them all together, like I said, and you have like a flow book, right? You can choose little bits and bobs to make different projects. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So pretty to <laughs> put the little guy on there. So cute using that as a decorative detail. Again, I don't want to hurt anything, so I'm trying to be careful. There we go. <laughs> and beautiful paper and really sturdy. Again, die cuts, um, acetate pieces. This is a thick chipboard piece. We have some vellum, beautiful vellum pieces. You guys can kind of peek in there as it's harder for me to kind of pull things out. Just to let you take a peek. <laughs> so cute. Thank you. Beautiful papers. Live, laugh, love. That looks like a crafter's companion topper, maybe. Looks familiar. And, ooh, so we have some beautiful... Um, die cut pieces here again with our ribbon and jute and just beautiful vellum again little die cut pieces in here chipboard tags I really like this this is more like a tissue it's vellum but it's very thin it feels like tissue but it's thicker than that super cool and our last one here from June thank you guys for being here thank you for spending time um, checking everything out. Look at that with the little Anna Griffin rose on there. Beautiful paper. And I like the way she cut these things. Oh, look at this one. Again, we have our uh, vellum, our die cuts, tags, beautiful borders. Lots of fun different little pieces in here. Toppers. Gorgeous. Thank you so much, June. I don't think she's here, but maybe she'll catch up later. Just beautiful. Okay, and here this one's from Dieta. Now that I know it's Dieta, <laughs> sorry. I, I, I pronounce it just the way I saw it. So this one is from, again, Dieta, all the way from Lakewood, California. <laughs> so I'm just joking, she's not too far. And this is Dieta's first time, I think, with our swaps. Shannon asks, how do you sign up? So I always put out videos about signups. This sign up closed really fast because honestly, I didn't realize I already had over 60 people signed up until I was writing things down. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to close this. <laughs> and then the swap for the traveler's notebook, which I actually have mine right here. Um, I closed that within a day of actually doing the video because it was, it, well, yeah, I had a lot of people sign up really fast. So this is the traveler's notebook swap. This is a different swap I'm running. Um, and that one already closed. So I put out videos and it'll say there, you know, swap sign up. I mean, and then you just email me and that's it. <laughs> but um, for right now, I don't know if I'm going to do another one of this variety. We'll see. I, I just, I, I, this was just something, honestly, it was just like a wild hair. And I was like, oh, let's just do this. And then I thought, oh, is this going to be something I do monthly, quarterly, ever again? Like, I don't know. <laughs> so um, anyway, the insides of each journal are the same, just the outsides are different. Okay, perfect. Thank you. That's good info to have. I'm going to have to destroy this to get this out. Sorry. I don't want to mess up the swaps. Ah! Okay. So there's that. And there's a little note in here. <laughs> Look how pretty.
pretty. I love that. Just to say thank you. I love, oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Oh, Dieta. <laughs> so she sent me a little 20 and she says, uh, keep the chains, get yourself a Starbucks. <laughs> I will do that. I will do that. Thank you so much. <laughs> you guys are so funny. All right. Um, so she said the insides are the same. So we'll look at this one and then we'll check out the outsides of the rest of them. Okay. So just beautiful rustic paper. It has a very, it reminds me of like oxidized, right? Oxidization, like really pretty with like patina all over it. And then our little hidden altered paper clip. And let's see what she put in here. I know you collect, I know you guys are so sweet. I have several typewriters in this room. I have one right there, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> There's six of them in here and I have probably 10 in the garage that I keep in a nice spot, you know, wrapped up and put away because I don't want them to get messed up, but they are in the garage. I just don't have enough room to put all of them out here because I just, and I like them to work and I like them to be vintage. So like, I don't just buy any old vintage type right? it has to be working. <laughs> and I do a little work on them sometimes, but I'm not that great. Like I know how to do like the belt and clean it out and all these things, but anyway, and then change out the ribbon, of course. But okay, we have our little tags here. That's so sweet. And then little bags of, <laughs> I love that she decorated the bag with a little ribbon with a little like acorns or pumpkin and cute little leaves in there. So sweet. Love the colorway on this too, Dieta. Or Dieta. See, I'm going to keep saying Dieta because I was used to saying that. Dieta. Um, little envelope, all these little borders. Oh, love it. Love it. These are very delicate. I don't want to mess them up, but I can see a butterfly in there and then some other die cuts back here. Look at this. Oh, I love that. So pretty. Thank you. And yeah, it's her first time. I know she's, that's what she's saying. Oh, you're so supportive. I didn't know it was your first swap. Okay. So we have that one. So then we'll check out the outsides of these guys. Ooh, I love this paper. She's very patina rustic looking and her beautiful little, uh, hidden altered paper clip. Again, she said the insides are the same. So I'm just gonna go, go, go. Look at that. Beautiful. What papers are these, Dieta? So pretty. And this one has like a cracked, like white a wash kind of paint look. And again, she did the cute. And look at setting all these stones. Look how much time that takes. <laughs> Thank you so much. So cute. Dan is asking if you made the cute little bows. Deanna says she doesn't remember something from her stash. Yeah, I know that's that happens as far as the paper goes. Okay, this is from Pam Phillips. And oh, what I enjoy about Pam's also not on top of that, it's very cute, um, is that she actually put a tag in here with her name and everything ready to go. And honestly, I would ask people to do this if you guys could do that for the swaps because what happens is I keep the outsides until I'm ready to send them, you know, and I swap the things out and then I write your address down on one of these and everybody, you know, it would be easier if someone just included a little taggy for me, but either way, it's fine. Um, this is coming all the way from South Carolina. And what struck me about Pam's is that they are chunky, chunky. So let's just get to it. This one has that beautiful light blue paper, very art deco, um, topper she put on the, uh, hidden altar paper clip. Yeah, thank you, Marilyn. I used to require that when I did the glitter mix swaps, people would send in the five glitter mixes and like little baggies with like one other piece of nail art stuff. And then um, I would have them include also the envelope that it was gonna go back to them in. So just, you know, a business size envelope with already pre-addressed. And all I did was take it out and I would use my own paper, like cardstock, and I would put their little things on there, tape it down so they wouldn't move, fold it up and ready to go. So I already had the postage on it and everything, but Right now, I don't know why. I think there's so many things already that I'm asking for people. <laughs> I don't want to, on top of that, be like, and now also don't forget to send me, you know, the thing with your name and address, but it would be nice. This is chunky, chunky. I'm sure she kept to the 15 pieces, <laughs> Pam. but it, no, honestly she did. It's just that some of the things were chunkier like uh, this, you know, so that's one thing. Look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. So delicate. I love the way she packaged it too in the little um, plastic. Uh, bag there and then lots of fun things here Ooh, lots of tags but like I said she did stick to the the rules it just feels thicker 
because of the stuff she chose to do. <laughs> Look at this little guy. <laughs> and really delicate dyes. I don't want to do anything on uh, pearls in this one. And I'm already opening my eyes up for the next one. I'm like, oh, there's so many other things I can include <laughs> after seeing what you guys are doing. Oh, thank you. She says, swaps are a lot of work. We appreciate you giving your time to do them. I know it was a lot of fun. I even was talking to my husband about that yesterday. I said, no, but I think I'm going to take a pause from October. Then I said, but you know what? I just like, it keeps me busy. I don't know. I like to do them. I like to do them. I like to look at people's things. I like to go through it all. <laughs> but, um, oh, thank you, Ethel. That's so sweet. She said, we can make your life easier. Let us, that is, honestly, it does take time. <laughs> and then sometimes, um, someone wrote kind of, you know, in a way that maybe I wasn't quite sure what it says. So then I have to wait, you know, to get back with them and make sure I'm getting the right address. So I don't know. It might just make sense. <laughs> Thanks, Myra. Look how cute. I love this little daisy. Super sweet. Beautiful paper. Again, I mean, you guys love that. Little die cuts. Again, you know, handmade and colored. I mean, just beautiful. Um, little uh, pearls in that one. There's some die cuts here. Something beautiful back there. I don't want to mess things up. Really, really pretty die cuts. And then ribbons and something else that she made here. Super pretty, Pam. Thank you. Are those stickers on the paper clips? Um, these? This is like handmade. I don't know. Like this one, this one's like a dick, uh, not decoupage. Well, yeah, I guess they do call it decoupage, right? When it's uh, on top of each other, it's not lacquered down, but like on top. I'm not sure if that's what you're asking. Oh, look at this. Love the little shimmer she put on that. The coloring is just beautiful. Hi, Kathy. I hope that's what you were asking, Shannon. If not, then I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry. Um, little, you know, tags, ephemera pieces, die cuts. I mean, there's a little card in there, it looks like, for her partner. Uh, beautiful die cut pieces. Twine. Uh, gems. You know, just so cute. And then again, that beautiful handmade, like, uh, topper piece. The little ribbon. Just beautiful. I'm thoroughly enjoying looking at all this stuff, you guys. <laughs> yeah, because Irma's like, great job, everyone. They all look amazing. I'll try and make one for the next swap. It'll be my first. Yeah. I mean, I pretty much give the directions. Other, everything else is up to you. The style, the look, the feel. I mean, that's all up to everybody. I just needed it to be exactly five by seven so that when everybody gets their swaps back, like let's say this one, and then I'm just going to grab another one. Let's say you get this one. You get this one from, you know, Yolanda. You get whatever. You get the other two, and then you're going to put them together in a little traveler's notebook, and it's basically a flow book. You can go through and, oh, I want to pick this from here, and oh, you know, maybe I need this one from this one, and it'll be fun. You know, that's what I was imagining, <laughs> envisioning. Beautiful little bird there. Cute papers. I love this. And I like, it's very sturdy the way she did her folder. And then we have our, again, die cut uh, tags. This beautiful piece here, the ephemera. This feels like watercolor paper. Um, little tags in here. Look at this little sweetie. Oh my gosh, you guys. So pretty. And then ribbons and some other um, die cut pieces, a little ephemera in here. Love this ribbon. It's very interesting. It has a different uh, texture to it than I've ever seen. Dieta says, I was so nervous being my first time, but it was so much fun. Need to make each folder different the next time. Oh, like what's in them? Yeah, whatever you like. So pretty. Thank you so much, Pam. Uh, okay, this one's from Cheryl McClendon. Um, actually, Cheryl, do you go by McClendon Cochran? No? See, some things I have a memory for and some things I don't, but I feel like Maybe I'm tripping. Is she here? But anyway, this is from Cheryl. And actually, she also sent some happy mail, but I have that in the other room, so I will do that a different day. Was a 12 by 12 paper kept that size? Oh, on hers? Um, I don't know if Pam's here. It Maybe. It looks like she folded it more than anything. Okay, so um, again, these are from Cheryl. Actually, I have them backwards, so let's look from the top. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I love these. Again, just different, you know, skin colors, different types of people. I love it. I love it. I've seen this at Michael's and other places. I think Hobby Lobby has some too. But um, you guys can let me know where you see these beautiful things. Um, oh, thank you. She's so sweet. She sent me some, some little goodies here. Look at this one. The ticket is good for one wish. Oh, I love it. And then her postage, of course. Thank you, Cheryl. Oh, no, I guess it is Cheryl McClendon. I don't know what... Oh, you know what I'm thinking? Somebody else. Somebody else completely. I think the other one's Crystal. 
I just remembered. You know why? That makes me up. <laughs> so I saw this purple envelope and I thought it was this blue one. And this blue one is from Crystal, who is Cochran. And this is Cheryl McClendon. It's a different person. <laughs> and then Crystal also sent me another blue one with Happy Mail. That's, I got confused, guys. It happens pretty easily. And I just said, I have a good memory for some of these things. <laughs> oh, thank you, Catherine. All right. Uh, yes, it's so much fun, Renee. So this one, beautiful paper, very sweet and soft little um, heart here. It looks like it has a little embossing on it. And sweet little folder. Again, lots of little die cuts and cute tags and sweet things. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. Love that girl power. Be your queen. <laughs> My son, he's so funny because that's how kids talk nowadays. But whenever I tell him something, he's like, okay, queen. <laughs> like, you better not be saying that in a sarcastic way. No, he says it to be nice. But I'm like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> really sweet pieces. Thank you. I love that. Very trendy there. All right. And this one here. Um, beautiful soft colors again with that beautiful little hidden ultra paper clip. That's the same. Oh, how funny. Okay, Crystal is here. Okay. She said that was a Cheryl Cocker in her work office. You're tired. Can you see? I'm channeling all those things. <laughs> How funny. That is too funny, Crystal. What a coincidence, right? She says some folks will still call me Cheryl. And I literally just did that. <laughs> Make some people up. Uh, too funny. Beautiful. Look at... Oh, I love this. Little envelope. So it, just take a look at your guys' die cuts because you never know if something is something you're going to assemble like a little envelope or something like that. Really sweet. Of course, you go check it out when you guys get your stuff, but love it. Oh, look at <laughs> like I said, I love it. Different styles, different bodies. I love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you so much. I love how these colors are matched back to the folders. Yeah, really sweet. This one has like little leaves. It looks like maybe feathers, but it looks like leaves. And a little sweet. It looks like she made these little tags or like little hand. Yeah. Super cute. Different little die cut pieces, ephemera in there. Oh, here. Oh, the little kitty cats. Cute. Sweet things. Very cute. You know, I want to go back and see what Nina was saying. Try to follow the chore for Traveler's Note, but got so lost they needed travel agents just to get home. <laughs> I have to enjoy looking at it. And, and you know, honestly, Nina, I would like to know what it is that where are people getting confused? So I'm like, what am I not saying right? Or what am I not showing clearly enough? I, I don't, honestly, whenever I do the Travels Notebooks, they're all the same. The numbers are the same, the, you know, so I want to know like, what is it? Where are we getting tripped up? I would like to know. So if you want to email me, honestly, email me and let me know. Cause maybe that's more helpful. Cause I know some people tell me they get lost too. And I'm like, where, 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 where's the problem? Like, that's what I want to know. Anyway, um, honestly, if you, you know, if you want to let me know specifically what it was, that would be great. So cute. Look at happiness blooms from within. Beautiful die cut pieces. Ephemera pieces. <laughs> Love it. Stay strong. This is us. Dream bigger. Beautiful pieces. Oh, I think I cut one of these myself. Didn't I? With a Anna Griffin uh, cut and emboss folder. So pretty. Thank you, Nina. Yes, please do. Vianney, where are you from? You talk fast. I am from California. <laughs> but my parents, my mom's from Mexico, and my dad's from Puerto Rico. So that should answer that question, where am I from, as far as that's what it is. I know, and some people um, ask me rude things in videos, and some people, I think they're, they mean well. They're like, oh, you talk a little too fast, you know, that kind of thing. But it's like, I cannot slow that down or change it in any way. See, Mida says it's the Puerto Rican, but everyone says, you know, they think Mexican people speak fast honestly being half mexican half puerto rican it's the puerto rican people <laughs> that do talk much faster but i think if you don't understand the language anyway you think it's fast anyway you know but this is how i've spoken since forever so i don't know your husband's from san jose and yeah dieta's puerto rican too and i know my was a little cuban there <laughs> so she talks fast too okay let's just say it's a latino thing in general but uh, I know some people say, just slow down the video or whatever it is. <laughs> that's kind of why I repeat things more. If it's something that's important, I'll say it many times because I know, I know, I know, I know my, my, my idiosyncrasies, <laughs> how I do things, uh -huh. but yeah. 
Um, so this is from Susan Caruso from New Jersey. Hopefully you're doing well out there. I know oh, they got pretty battered out there too. <laughs> Ohio talks fast. I sound hyper all the time. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so she included the postage here. And again, this is from Susan Caruso. Very sweet colors on this. Muted and then with that pop of black. <laughs> I tell people that my hearing... Oh, sometimes my hearing is slow. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Nina says she was born and raised in Long Beach and then in San Fernando Valley. Well, then... Well, I was born in... Cent well, I was born in Bakersfield and raised in the Central Valley near Fresno. But uh, that didn't help. Just because I was in the country didn't slow me down. And I <laughs> spoke really fast and I still do. <laughs> and then there's five of us. Not that there's that many kids, but a lot of people are like, oh, you must have a lot of kids in your family because, like, you want to get in your words, you know? It's like, no, it's just... Eh, I don't know. Um, beautiful little die cuts. Oh, look at all the creatures. I love that. Little butterflies, little fishy, little flamingo, <laughs> Christmas trees, a little jar, all kinds of eclectic stuff in this one. Oh, the peacock. Beautiful. And I don't know if she colored that or, yeah, no, the paper, I was gonna say, or if the paper came that way, but you can see on the back, the paper came that way. Beautiful. Lots of little sweet die cut pieces, little motorcycle. <laughs> love it. Thank you so much, Susan. I think this might be Susan's first time too. Is she here? See, that's what I'm saying. Shannon says her friend from Guatemala had a hard time uh, interpreting Puerto Rico <laughs> or tried to interpret in Puerto Rico or people. Yeah. No, I think that's true. Oh, Marilyn, your husband's from Colinga. Yeah, basically I'm from uh, Reedley. It's another town like that, like a small town that, you know, no one's heard of. <laughs> Unless you're from the Central Valley, then you've heard of all these little towns. Um, really sweet little... Um, Ultra paperclip. Again, lots of different die cuts of lots of different things, different papers, different colorways from the last what I showed you. Really sweet. I know, Irma, I saw on Twitter that there was an earthquake and I'm like, I didn't feel it. But at the same time, I think I was in the shower at that time. So who knows? Like, <laughs> I was just moving around. Either way, I'm far enough away. Ugh, far enough away. I probably just didn't feel it. Um, beautiful paper. I love this. It looks like little twinkly lights. Oh, look at this guy. Lots of different uh, die cuts. Again, different colors, different colorways, little fairies. Oh, love these. So pretty, the paper that she used on that. The little um, sea... Uh, what, am I, what am I saying? Starfish. I was going to say seashells, I guess. <laughs> and this one just has a black uh, topper on it. You didn't feel either, Dieta? Yeah. Oh, this is so lovely with a little foil. And the little um, polka dot paper clip. Did you start the prayer group? Let's start a prayer group that you talked about on your channel. I don't know that. Did I ever talk about doing something like that? It doesn't sound like me. <laughs> Not because of the prayer thing, which is fine. But yeah, I don't. I don't think so. Uh, maybe that was somebody else. Um, so we have a uh, little. Uh, die cut pieces and a little jar and things all kinds of sweet things here super cute thank you so much Susan like I said I think this is her first time swapping with us so thanks for jumping in <laughs> oh yeah Joyce also from Reedley <laughs> so shout out to all the Central Valley gals I grew up in the same small town and moved to SoCal for college and stayed yep well, I still went to college out there, and then I moved all over the place. You guys already know. <laughs> yeah, Linda says she's right in the middle of seven kids, so she had to talk fast to get a word in. That's right. So this is from Crystal. So thank you, Crystal Cochran. <laughs> um, so let me put these all facing the same way. That way we can start. And again, her sophisticated swap went with the darker colors here on these two. Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. Oh, earthquakes, yeah. Um, super sweet. Love the, uh, animal prints. You know, I'm partial to animal prints. Ooh. Oh, I love this. This is just, uh, embossed, um, you know, topper or paper, however you want to look at that. But it has that uh, Crafter's Companion embossing. Um, I'm going to take a quick peek in here. And then we'll see, you know, we have, um, the little butterflies, lots of tags, and all kinds of really beautiful colors. Uh, I can see some more ephemera in there. These really cool, uh, button type of stickers. Really, really nice. And there's some more ephemera on this side, but I don't want to mess anything up for you guys, so I try to keep things nice. Yeah, Kathy says these are so rich looking. Love the animal print paper. 
So cute. <laughs> I was always sent outside the classroom talking too. Well, I was like, you were going to say for talking too fast. I was going to say, I always got in trouble for talking too much. Like every teacher, whenever my mom had parent teacher conferences, it was always that. I was a chatterbox. It's like, really? <laughs> It's not my fault I got done with my work early because I was a genius and I would want to talk to people <laughs> around me. Uh, this was a long time ago. Anyway, um, I'll have the tags and cute things. Again, I think it's going to be similar from the last one, so I'll just take a peek in them like this. Ooh, oh, is this scissor? I love this. Like antique scissors. So pretty. Yeah, I know. Always, always the complaints or the talking. Actually, Dorian has that too. And Diego a little bit, but more Dorian than anything. Um, sorry, my kids, we all like to talk. <laughs> Super pretty. Again, very similar um, inside. So I'm just going to give you a little peek like that. <sighs> Love this. So pretty. A little ephemera. The fl um, flower kind of ephemera. I'm trying to bring a little bit of it out. Again, very Anna Griffin there. <laughs> Marilyn says her report card. So exactly. Marilyn likes to talk to her neighbors. Yes. So if you like to talk to her neighbors, I think I even have one. My mom probably still has it. It literally said that she is quite the chatterbox. Like, bah! <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Catherine. Same same here. So pretty. I love this paper. The craft cardstock is very nice and thick in the uh, matte black cardstock also. Again, very similar items. You can take a peek. So cute. <laughs> she, says she was an introvert her whole life. Can't stop talking now. <laughs> I guess it was bottled up. I think I'm kind of backwards. Like I like talking here, but I don't like talking on the phone. And I don't really, I just want to sit and veg out when I'm not on <laughs> these kind of things. I don't know. Thank you so much, Crystal. Renee says, I'm very introverted until I get to know someone. Yeah, that's true. All right, so um, this is from, I want to say Rhonda. Yes, Rhonda Sylvester out of California, out of Sacramento. Not too far, but far enough, far enough. <laughs> okay, I'm going to open these again. I'll probably pop them back in their bags after we look at them. So Rhonda went with a solid white folder on all of these, so we can check that out. Beautiful rose paper on there. Because I was curious of this, because I can see something sticking out. I'm like, did she laminate them? But it's this... this Big card that's laminated here. You are a gem. Precious in the sight of God. That's so pretty. And then don't let your heart be troubled and some um, different. Um... Oh my gosh. What are, I want to call them. They're not Psalms. Well, this one's John. Just verses, I suppose. I can see through this. So I'm just going to hold it like this. And I want to open it up. So there's some ribbon, some die cuts, some little hearts, little pearl hearts. How cute is that? Uh, beautiful toppers. Look at those leaves. Really, really pretty. So I'm going to pop this back in here like this and then leave it so that, you you know, the partner can tuck those in wherever they need to go. Really pretty. So again, I will tuck this away so it doesn't stick to anything because you know me, they will stick and then <laughs> not good. So I'll put those away. Really soft, pretty. I love the, um, that topper, the little roses on there. And these are very similar. I will just show them right quick. Again, that big tag. And then these beautiful pieces in here. All coordinates, just so pretty. Everything that's in here just looks lovely all together. So pretty. Is this, I think this is her first time. Rhonda, is this, is Rhonda here? I think it's her first time with us. I know I hear from a lot of you guys. It'll say, it'll be, <laughs> talk to myself a lot. Um, yes, the social butterfly moniker. Yes, that too. <laughs> Um, yes, there you go, Diana. This is very romantic, yes, with the little roses. That's the feel, for sure. And again, those beautiful, um, like, skeleton leaves. And I can see the other little kind of die-cut topper pieces that are in there. Really pretty. This is really lovely. It feels really nice. <laughs> I love a good, thick-feeling, laminated object. All right. And if Rhonda's here, uh, Dieta wants to know where you got the plastic sleeves. There's the shipping or postage money. Again, just lovely, soft on the outside there. And then those little pearls, some sweet toppers, die cut pieces like stickers, ribbon, all that fun stuff. 
So sweet. This one is very sweet. Ah, trying to get this back on here. Sorry, guys. Okay, again, I'll tuck these away without messing them up too badly. I'll put them there. And this is from Angela Shields. I have three more, including this one to go through, and I think that'll be it for today. Thank you guys for spending time here. Um, okay, so she has her postage in here, it looks like, or feels like. We have this little card. <laughs> love it. I love the Halloween colors on it. It's really sweet. Oh, my gosh. I have to show this to you guys. I just went to open it. Look. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, that's an idea we're going to have to take. <laughs> love it. Oh, uh, thank you. And Angela's here right now, Nitty Kittens. You're stealing that idea. Oh, yes. My mom says you guys are a fun group. Yes. <laughs> uh, to save you time, all my folders have the same ephemera in them. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Um, all right. Sounds good. So Angela says they all have the same stuff in them. So we will admire the outers and check out that stuff on the inside. Oh, okay, Marilyn. Sorry. We'll see you. The playback. We'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Okay, beautiful papers already. This is, <laughs> love the way they look all together. Super pretty, gorgeous clippy. A little ribbon, a little paper, a little topper. So cute, I love the um, die cutting on that too. Oh, love it. So we have some like seam binding here. A little, um, what is this? I thought it was like a little envelope piece. It looks like an envelope, it's very thin. That's so cute, die cut tag oh, a little tissue oh my goodness that's just like beautiful acetate with like some coloring on it a beautiful uh, little paper bag i got a bag like this one time at a you know one of those like old timey stores and i kept it <laughs> like oh this is so cute yeah no and then uh you know journaling spot beautiful die cuts in here a little um uh folder <laughs> so cute lots of pretty die cuts and all that gorgeous colorway Little doily back there. So pretty. Thank you so much. Angela, these look great. So on this one, she has the map, which is gorgeous paper, of course. And then it looks like it was, um, maybe she stamped that part because it's like perfectly done for this particular thing. <laughs> the little stitching. And look at the little embossed, I love that. Just on a craft and it looks amazing. I love it. Little uh, lace there. This one, the little crown, oh my goodness, with that beautiful um, lace, other little bits that she put here and there. Nittykins, this is just gorgeous, thank you. Oh, look at the little dove, love it. And again, just a little bit of something here and there, it just makes it oh, so pretty. Look at the papers. Love postage papers, this is like exactly the kind of thing I, I just love it. Thank you so much, Angela. I'm gonna put everything back in the package here so I don't misplace anything. We have two more guys for today and then I'm gonna actually go and check the mail when I'm done right now and then the next day and we'll see. This is from Cindy Abril from New Jersey. Again hopefully she's doing well out there in New Jersey right now. Okay so let's pop these open. I like these bags. <laughs> oh there's Cheryl McClendon. <laughs> Thank you. She says, great job, everyone. The card was so easy and fun to make. Yeah, it looks, I yeah, super cute. I think we'll figure it out pretty easily there. Um, so we have the little uh, hidden altar paper clip with a beautiful little lace. And oh, so cute. Everything is on here. And then it's embossed too. Love it. Just those little bits of details. Awesome. Beautiful glitter paper and a folder. Oh, my goodness. Just gorgeous. All the little um, die cut pieces. And it has, a, a, I was going to say, what? Because I can see the pocket here. There's a pocket and then the pocket on the outside. Chipboard pieces. Beautiful colorway on this. Oh, look at this little guy with his little twine on there. Uh, smile. Lots of little die cut ephemera pieces too. Just lovely. A little half a doily. So pretty. Cindy, this is gorgeous. Cindy here. Oh. Okay, yours are pretty much the same. So maybe I should just look on the outside. Is that what we're... Yeah, so... Caffeine or caffeine 22 is Cindy and she says she's they're all the same or pretty much the same So we'll look at the outside look at the little so pretty. I love this paper with that little um, Glitter on there again pretty soft blue And I'll just let you guys take a peek at that 
Love the little pockets and pockets. I think that's adorable. I'm just catching up. Oh, hi, Bonnie. Yeah, hopefully you can watch both of them then because this is the second part to the first video that uh, got cut off. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Bloom and grow. Love the little hidden altar paper clip and the little quilting paper or quilted paper. Quilt looking paper. Super cute. I like this little postage stamp looking die. That so pretty. Love the colorways. And then this one here. Yeah, that's and Diana is saying she made them all the same inside since they're going to four different people. Uh, yeah, for sure. However you want to do that. That's so pretty. I love the embossing on that. Hey, sunshine. Look at this little cutie. Oh my goodness. Again, lots of little die cuts and toppers and ephemera and all that sweet stuff. Thank you so much, Cindy, for coming back. Hanging out with us again. Oh, okay. Uh, I will put that back in its bag in just a minute. And this is the last one for today from Paula Di Giovanni. Um, I believe it was Paula's first, first time also. Let's see. Uh, do I have it? Okay, no. She has a lot. Maybe she has a little note here, but no, there's not. But I feel like she's at least with us first time. <laughs> I know, Renee says, I don't think we've seen repeats of paper at all. Yeah, crazy, right? And everybody has four different pieces <laughs> and they're completely different. All right. Oh, oh, okay. I was like, oh, there's five. <laughs> this is for me. Oh, I love this. Like, that's like that packaging stuff, right? And look how cute this little... <laughs> I tell you the things that I uh, just, I enjoy. This little, little dragonfly. So cute. Thank you so much. Warning, opening this package can result in extreme happiness. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, the paper on this is so gorgeous. Like, little flowers like buds they're drawn really really in a cute way oh my gosh this is just thank you paula oh look at lovely 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 you know just look at all these die cuts it just makes my heart very happy <laughs> i love it a little glassy envelope or folder yeah well bag i guess i don't know what you want to call it so cute thank you oh i love it thank you all right so i don't know if paula's here but these all Look at this paper and look how she nailed it on each one. They look exactly the same. <laughs> Beautiful. And then with her little hidden altered paper clip, again with that little tag there. Wow. And I'm going to take a peek in the other ones, but I have a feeling they're going to be very similar, if not the same. Just look at this lace. Oh, it's like shimmery, shiny, like, like mercerized cotton, basically. You know that feel? So pretty. All the different little die cuts in here. Just gorgeous lovely colorway i'm gonna take a quick peek in the others but i think they're probably very similar oh, i don't want to miss anything up there just beautiful gorgeous swap to end today with i am going to hop over to the post office and see what else is there i have a feeling there'll be quite a few more i still have some in the garage i didn't bring them all out this i have i told you a lot of them came in really early and that's really great so there's still tons that um I have, uh, I put them all in a plastic tub on top of my freezer. <laughs> if you all must know, a big plastic tub and I keep them that way until everything comes in. So there are still at least 10 or 12 out there. Um, and then of course, whatever comes in today and tomorrow, hopefully. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. If I do another one, if I have to go into Wednesday, I don't know that I'll be able to go to the post office before we finish up on that day. We will see. I'm trying to give people more time. Obviously, whoever sent things out by Saturday, it's not going to be here today or tomorrow, you know. So I was just getting ahead of the game because there's so many and I know we have four for each person. So it's going to take a minute. But you guys, these are so lovely. I was telling you, I was like, since I've been getting these in like every day, you know, trickle here, trickle there, maybe 12 on one day, 15 on another or however many. Um, I've, I've like, I want to show them to people. <laughs> They're so pretty. So um Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for spending time with me. A couple um, hours here almost. Uh, this has been uh, so much fun for me to check everything out, I'm sure, for you guys. And thank you guys for participating and always being so awesome, like you guys said. I, I have a great community here um, on my little channel. You guys are so great and supportive of everybody. I'm, I'm reading these messages and they go by so quickly and some of them I'm not sure what we're talking about. So I, prayers for everyone, okay? I hope everyone's doing very well. Um, 
thank you guys so much. Yeah, so I think that's it for today because I honestly ooh, have to make some more videos. <laughs> So in that first video, I did link the different things that I picked up today, which again, were only like two things um, from HSN, but sounds like that's how the day is going for everyone. Just kind of slow day, which is fine because we need a break sometimes, I know. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you for your sweet comments. I'm reading them right now. Um, yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Have a great day. I will see you back maybe later for a tutorial. And for sure tomorrow again, I'm going to do another one of these. I don't know the time yet though, because like I said, my son has a job, another job now. Hi, that boy. Um, and so I don't know when I have to actually take him and be back and all those kind of things until he gets his driver's license in October. So, all right, guys, have a good one. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Bye.